the latest exchanges between U.S. Secretary of State, Antony Blinken and Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu have been focused on the ongoing conflict between Israel and Hamas. Secretary Blinken has called on Israel to ease the plight of Gaza's civilians, urging a de-escalation of the conflict and emphasizing the importance of humanitarian aid reaching Gaza. He has stated that the toll on civilians is too high and that Palestinians must be allowed to return home as soon as conditions allow. Despite these calls, Prime Minister Netanyahu has rejected Blinken's calls for a humanitarian pause, stating that Israel will continue to bombard Gaza with all of its power until their objectives are met. Netanyahu has emphasized that a temporary ceasefire must include the return of hostages taken by Hamas in the attacks on October 7. The Israeli government is focused on ensuring that the events of October 7, which involved a surprise attack by Hamas, cannot happen again. The State Department has reiterated the United States' support for Israel's right to defend itself while also stressing the importance of avoiding further harm to civilians and protecting civilian infrastructure in Gaza. The situation remains tense, with both sides maintaining their positions amidst the ongoing conflict. In a more recent report, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has reportedly told U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken that Israel is prepared to launch a ground offensive in Rafa, Gaza's southernmost city, even without U.S. Support During a meeting in Tel Aviv on March 22, Blinken urged Israel not to invade Rafa, warning that such an action could result in more civilian casualties, greater havoc in humanitarian assistance, and further isolation of Israel on the international stage. However, Netanyahu stated that defeating Hamas would require entering Rafa and eliminating the remnants of the battalions there. He expressed hope for U.S. support but affirmed that Israel would proceed alone if necessary. Netanyahu also acknowledged the need to evacuate civilians from combat zones and address humanitarian needs. This development adds another layer of complexity to the ongoing exchanges between Blinken and Netanyahu, with the U.S. pushing for restraint and a focus on humanitarian aid, while Israel maintains its stance on taking decisive military action to achieve its objectives in the conflict with Hamas.